Okay, so we talked about this last week, and now we're going to do a, a deep dive with Devo. Dubai, Dubai mm -hmm. is making it rain in a sweltering desert by zapping clouds with electricity using drones. Fascinating, isn't it? So much to ask, but let's just let's take it and then we'll we'll do okay. a few questions. Before we talk about what's happening in Dubai, let's talk about cloud seeding in general because a lot of people I don't think understand what cloud seeding is. And this has been going on for decades, by the way. This is not something that's brand new. Um, but traditionally, what cloud seeding is, it involves using aircraft or drones or even some cannons to push silver iodide up high into the clouds. Why silver iodide? Because what that, that has the same crystal structure as ice so once it gets up into the clouds it starts to accumulate ice on it and these large raindrops which helps especially in a you know a cloud mass that's not really gonna rain it helps to bring rain and especially snow down so it works it does work marginally but the problem with silver iodide through the years has been this is that they they feel it could be harmful to aquatic life Okay. Okay. So over in Dubai, which is what you're seeing here, they took it a different step. And what they basically did, they had a fleet of drones that flew up into cloud cover and they, they used electrical charges to force water droplets to combine into larger ones. So not silver, not cloud no, seeding as we no, know. No, no, right. they're not using the traditional silver iodide, which takes a out the environmental right. aspect of that, okay? So they're using just electricity to create larger raindrops. Why larger raindrops? Because in Dubai, they only average about four inches of rain per year as most of the rain that falls out of the clouds evaporates because it's so hot, it's so dry, and the water molecules are so tiny. So they're trying to stimulate by using electricity these droplets to be larger. Hence, they can make it to the ground. Now, I will tell you that the jury is still kind of out a bit on whether or not this was a fluke, whether this is something that can work long term. So they need to continue with these drones and they're going to continue to do this. Yes, Mr. Rhodes? So, assuming it works and it mm -hmm. wasn't a fluke, mm -hmm. Why not use this out in the western U.S. where all these wildfires are and the drought is going on? Could this not help us That's here? That's a fantastic question, and they've been trying. Uh, and it, this is stuff that, first of all, it's very expensive, too. Uh, you're talking about millions and millions of dollars, which is fine when you're trying to alleviate a drought. Sure. It cannot work with wildfires. Here's the thing. You can't just throw silver iodide or electricity into a clear sky and it rains. It doesn't work that way. You have to have the right cloud structure, the right cloud height. They have to be tall, getting up well into the freezing layers. Then you can try to stimulate that process. And they've done that out west. During the winter time, when they get days and days of cloud cover, mm -hmm. they've done that, and they've noticed they've been able to increase the snowfall pack 5 to 15 okay. percent. But the area and the weather, Russell, around wildfires is not conducive to that type of cloud cover, so you can't do it. In other words, we need to treat the drought, which will then alleviate the wildfires. Got Does it. that make sense? Yes. And that's the way it has to go. Five to 15% increase in precipitation out west due to this, it's a start. Okay. And it's a good start, especially over in Dubai for those folks who are just trying to generate more rainfall. Now, on the opposite side about, oh, we can't, we, we're done. We can't, we don't need more time. <laughs> another time, we'll pick it up another time.